Nice to meet you. I mean, I think I was in one of the press conference with you. Maybe right. Manchester United and Wolverhampton, I think. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I heard about you many times. And actually, as I said, many Korean fans know your name, but I think this is maybe the first time they see your face. <laughs> <laughs> so probably probably better to listen to than look at. But anyway, <laughs> especially this time in the morning. So can you can you kindly introduce about yourself to Korean fans, yeah. please? So basically, uh, my name's Simon Stone. Uh, I'm a senior football news reporter now for BBC Sport, but I covered Manchester United uh, extensively for the Press Association, which is the UK uh, national news agency, and I covered um, Manchester United well, from basically 2002. So I've been covering them for over 20 years now. Um, and I mean, in just in the last two weeks, you, you can see the news mm. value of Manchester United. And even though they're not what they used to be in terms of uh, winning trophies and um, and being at the top of the league and competing for the major major trophies, they still generate huge amounts of news and huge mm. amounts of interest mm. so that that is me basically let's talk about Lingard first and then Manchester United so at the moment Lingard move is not confirmed yet but potentially his move to FT Seoul is very hot in South Korea and also in Europe can you share any information uh, about Lingard's situation at the moment so basically, as as my my understanding is that he's had this offer. It's a really good offer, mm -hmm. and he's considering whether to accept it. Now, basically, Jesse Lingard, um, a lot of people would say that he made a mistake, but I I don't know if it was his mistake really because he went to West Ham on loan. Mm. He did really really well, and then West Ham wanted to sign him. Uh, and he thought he still had a chance of doing well at Manchester United. So he went back, and I think he thought that Solskjaer had made him a bit of a, a promise uh, to play, and it didn't really materialise. And then, as I've, I've said, the, the situation with Solskjaer unravelled. And then in the in the January, he had a few offers. But the problem was that one of them, I think, was from Newcastle, but Manchester United didn't want to kind of help Newcastle in a sense and another mm. one was from West Ham um, and I I think there, there was an issue about where he was going to go and it, it ended up he didn't really go anywhere and he didn't play mm. so his contract ran out at the end of the season and then he had a lot of offers the biggest one was at Nottingham Forest um, he decided to go there now you could argue many things about that. He didn't play well at Nottingham Forest, but Nottingham Forest were in a bit of a mess, really, because they'd signed, they signed over 20 players. Mm. They'd lost quite a few of the players who um, had got them promoted back yeah. to the Premier League. Mm. There was a lot of uh, pressure on the manager, and it, he was trying to find his best, his best team, and he couldn't really do it. It took him ages. And when he eventually found it, Lingard wasn't in it. And then they they got on a decent run and managed to survive. Lingard had only signed for a year. And the money that he was on, he didn't end the season in the team. Mm -hmm. So it was a fairly obvious decision for him to leave. Now, I think everybody thought that he would find another club. Mm -hmm. But I think the difficulty has been trying to find the right club. And he's had a lot of offers. He had... You know, he, he went to Saudi Arabia at one point for a trial. Mm. He trained at West Ham. There was, it wasn't going to be a deal. Then there was a thought there might be a deal, and there wasn't. And the problem, the problem is, um, certainly if we're talking about the Premier League, is if you're if you have kind of no preseason, then clubs are reluctant to take you on because there's a, there's this catch up period because mm. the the physical intensity of the league is so great that if you go into a club and you've not had pre-season, you can train as yeah. much as you want, but you can't be at the level that you need to be at. Mm. So 
and and that brings the potential for injuries and so i think most premier league clubs backed off so that meant that he didn't he didn't get a deal and you know there, there was talk i don't know about usa or maybe countries like that turkey at the moment people get fixated on deadlines but because he doesn't have a contract uh, that doesn't really apply but they clearly have to have space in the squad so it was just a case of where where is he going to turn up almost who is going to take a chance mm. and uh and this you know the, this fc soul um idea has almost come from left field mm. I, as i say i think there are massive question marks mm. around it not least and i i realize you know we live in a global world mm. and i realize that i mean korea we've spoken about i've been i think it's a fascinating country fabulous country mm -hmm. but it's still for a european yeah. it is a massive culture shock culture shock yeah. and i think it's the same the other way around as well i mean you would know that more than me yeah but I think that's why, going back to what we've said before about Park and Son, I think that's why mm. the transition from K-League, for instance, to the Premier League in one go is exceptionally difficult. You look at Matoma, mm. Matoma now, um, who's done very well at Brighton, but he's done very well at Brighton after having a period in the Belgian League. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not so easy. And mm. I just wonder... You know, culturally, well, whether it's something that mm. that Lingard can can deal with at the same time mm. as restarting his football career mm. at a level where, as we've spoken about, it's not the same level as the Premier League, mm. but it's still a, a high level. It's not, and and then you have all the the issues over travelling, and you know. So I I think there are question marks. I don't mm. think it's. I don't think it's absolutely certain that he'll go. And even if he goes, I don't think it's absolutely certain that he'll do well. Mm. I think it's something that he needs to think very carefully about before he does it.